to the mailbag now. Comedian Jim Gaffigan's recent commentary on massage, which he called decadent and weird, provoked a number of responses, not least from Dolly Wallace, the president of the American Massage Therapy Association. AMTA and its members understand good-natured humor, she writes, but call on the media and public figures to not allow their comments to denigrate the massage therapy profession, which she says is focused on health and wellness. Among the individual therapists who wrote was Mary Mell, who suggested a starkly different form of therapy for Jim. To quote her, he should be horse-whipped. Rachel Kate Kopp disagrees. She writes, I've been a professional massage therapist for 15 years, and I thought it was funny. Simmer down, people. It's called comedy. Moving on, our viewer Shara Miller sent us this photo of the Sunday morning sun her father Stu painted on his backyard fence. My mom and him just love watching your show every Sunday morning, she writes. They usually DVR it and then show us their favorite parts from the week. Good point. You can always DVR our show if you can't actually watch it in real time. Which seems to be the right time to mention that whenever we run out of time for our regular features, such as our Sunday morning calendar, you can always find them and extras of all kinds on our website. Finally, we thank our viewer who pointed out that it was 20 years ago this past Tuesday, July 4th, that we lost Sunday morning's founding anchor, Charles Kuralt. Neither we on this side of the camera or you on yours would be where we are right now without him. And if something on our show either rubs you the wrong way or tickles your fancy, write us the old-fashioned way or send us an email, and we'll be right back.